this is Dr. Janet Bruno. Today I want to talk about the topic of autoimmune disease. Now to those outside the medical field, the word autoimmune may not really cause much alarm. However, if you or someone you love suffers from an autoimmune disease, you know all too well how serious this can be. So first let's start at the beginning. If you're not familiar with autoimmune disorders, Let's go to a clear definition. The simplest, most simple definition of autoimmune disease is that it is a disease where the body actually attacks itself. You see, our bodies have a defensive system which normally guards us against invaders. But sometimes in these situations of autoimmune disorders, the body actually loses the ability to differentiate friend from foe. It loses the ability to differentiate a self from invader. So really what happens is the tenacity of our immune system, which actually can be really strong, actually turns against us and often turns against our own organs. And the ultimate result can lead to a devastating loss of an organ's function, which can lead further to severe de debilitation as well as death. So it's really a scary situation. So now that you understand the concept, let's go deeper into which diseases fall into this category of autoimmune disorders. Well, some of the more common types of autoimmune disorders include type 1 diabetes, rheumatic heart disease, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, lupus, and Parkinson's disease. Now there are many more autoimmune disorders, although these are the most common. So if you're familiar with any of these, you understand that these can indeed lead to some serious life-threatening conditions. So it's important to understand that there's really many aspects of autoimmune disorders that are still unknown at this time. But one thing is absolutely certain, and that is clear to researchers and scientists, that one of the basic mechanisms behind the self-descriptive behavior to the body is a process called molecular mimicry, coming from the word mimicry meaning to mimic. So really just to take this, put it very simply, molecular mimicry is what happens when some of the foreign cells that actually are invaders look so much like our own cells that the immune system mistakenly assumes that our own cells are foreign. So somehow the body becomes confused and can really no longer tell the difference between the invaders and its own self cells. So it attacks everything. Now what's becoming increasingly clear in all the studies made about autoimmune disorders is that there is a dietary component which can set off the whole process. Now one particular element of the diet in particular has been implicated and that is cow's milk. You see there's lots of studies that have been show, showing that some of the undigested protein from cow's milk actually enters the bloodstream and sets in motion our body's own defensive system because they're identified as foreign invaders. And everything could be fine at this point except for the fact that the cow's milk protein ends up mimicking our very own proteins. So under normal circumstances, the body is still able to tell the difference between the two. But through some complex processes, it becomes, the body becomes confused in the cases of autoimmune disorders, and the problem of differentiating self from invader actually gets worse and worse and worse. So the cow's milk is really just one of the many dietary components that have been shown to cause autoimmune disorders. Well, there's some aspects of the disorder mechanism that have yet to be fully understood, that's for sure. Researchers do know that there's some pretty strong links between various autoimmune disorders and some dietary components. And the biggest link is specifically animal protein. So what's encouraging is by addressing the implications of these links, what causes it and what happens, substantial progress has already been made to reduce autoimmune disease to a treatable diagnosis 
And we can only hope that with further research and further studies that actually autoimmune disorders can actually be prevented one day. So I hope you found this useful as a little uh, nutshell description of autoimmune disease as well as how it is caused, the, the main theory about what causes autoimmune disease, and hopefully some look towards the future on how we can treat them and prevent them. This is Dr. Janet Bruno wishing you a healthy and a happy day.